If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Do, do you think that, like, their, their wings grow back? Or do you think that if you, like, hit them and they fall to the ground, that they just have to, like, deal with the fact that their life, is, as they know it, has been permanently altered and they can never go back to what they had before? These are the things that come to me in the middle of the night, and that's when I record, so you have to deal with them, too. <laughs> My name is Yoshi Stack, and welcome back to more Paper Mario in the last episode. After having our butt thoroughly kicked by Bowser, we woke up in Goomba Village, which actually only consists of a single family of Goombas. And I guess a toad. Maybe that's what makes it a village. I I still don't know how that works, but I shouldn't be too mean. They uh, they were very helpful to us. They, uh, they're lending us their hammer, so uh, we can use that as a weapon as we journey out, and uh, they're also lending us their son, who uh, can fight for us as we journey out, and journey out is exactly what we're going to do this time, so let's not waste any time, and actually we're going to waste some time immediately because there's a sign. Beware of Goombas! I, that feels like a very mean sign to put outside uh, a family of Goombas. Oh god. I guess they meant it literally. Uh, yeah, that, that felt like a very mean sign to put outside the, the Goomba family house. Very rude. Anyway. Hey Mario! During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? So, uh, here's another difference between, uh, this game and Mario RPG in that, like I said before, there's not really a speed stat, so just whoever gets the first strike goes first, and you can go in whatever order you want. So if we switch to Goombario here, we can either have him do a head bonk, which is basically another jump attack, or the more interesting ability Goombario has is Tattle. This is Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since even Super Mario Bros. So, uh, Tattle just tells you information about enemies. Sometimes I think it tells you weaknesses, uh, and obviously the most important thing is it gives you the HP counter. If you've played Thousand Year Door, um, there's less less flavor text with the tattles than there are in that game, and also I don't know offhand if there's a specific tattle log like there is in that game. Let's find out. Um, do we have? Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anything here that represents a tattle log. So I can't promise that I'm gonna go for all of them because it's a lot. And, uh, at some point we're gonna get a badge, or we have the option to get a badge at the very least, to, uh, see the enemy HP counter without having to tattle, which that's really the most important thing from tattling, so we'll, we'll see how much I do. I'll probably do it a lot here at the beginning just because, you know, these enemies are new, and again, we don't have action commands to make the battles more exciting, so, I mean, here I just talk through that whole thing without really commenting on it, and we're gonna fight another one here! At least we got the first strike on this one. All right. But, uh, yeah, that that's battles in Paper Mario. Definitely different than Mario RPG. You can also only have one partner out at a time, because, I mean, I, I feel like it it's not really spoilers to say that, like, oh, hey, they introduced one partner. There's gonna be more later. Maybe you count that as a spoiler. I don't know. It's a 24-year-old 24, 24 game. Um, you've probably heard something about it by now. All right, let's keep moving. Got that. Uh, also, here's the thing you can do. With uh, enemies for first strikes, you are able to hit them with a hammer. So we hit that guy, no problem. Although, uh, before we uh, attack this Paragoomba, you'll notice that he doesn't have an HP bar. Even though he's otherwise the exact same as a normal Goomba, it counts as a separate enemy. So if you want to see the HP bar, you have to tattle. It's the same as Spike Goomba. Fun things in this game, I tell you. This is a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can't hit them with the hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas. Do, do you think that, like, their, their wings grow back? Or do you think that if you, like, hit them and they fall to the ground, that they just have to, like, deal with the fact that their life, is, as they know it, has been permanently altered and they can never go back to what they had before? These are the things that come to me in the middle of the night, and that's when I record, so you have to deal with them, too. 
Okay, let's let's move on before it gets any weirder. And it, oh, I was gonna say you may have noticed Gumbario kind of running around awkwardly there. Um, yeah, the the path that the uh, enemies take or that your partners take, um, it tries to follow what Mario does very strictly, and it gets a little funny sometimes. I'm sure we'll see that at various points. But here's a spike Goomba. This is a spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Thank you for that enlightening revelation, Goombario. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes, you'll get hurt, or even paralyzed. Uh, the paralyzed part is not referring to Mario, so another difference between this and Mario RPG is you'll notice that Goombario does not have a health bar. Uh, partners are sort of invincible. I say sort of because there are- they usually can't be attacked because, you know, we went with Goombario first, but Mario is still up front afterwards. He goes back to the back, Goombario does. Um, but some attacks can still hit your partners and it takes them out of the battle for a few turns. How long depends on the specific kind of attack and it'll show you how many turns, but, uh, yeah. It's it's a little strange that they don't have their own HP. Uh, if you've played Thousand Year Door, they uh, they obviously change that because your partners in that game do have HP and you can upgrade it over time. Here's another new thing. Uh, red blocks, you, yellow blocks, you know, we're, we're, we're used to that. That's normal Mario stuff. But red blocks mean there's a badge inside and this one had the close call badge. Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. So what that means is if we have five HP or less, uh, enemies will have a chance to miss. It's not a badge that I usually love to use. It usually gets replaced early on, or fairly quickly, but early on, it's not a bad badge to have. And I mean, we have three BP, so may as well wear it now. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with a uh, C left. I almost said C side, and that doesn't really help, given that there's two. I mean, you can push the stick in many directions, but oh. Okay, there, there's a lot of enemies here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use our fire flower here, because that's a lot! Alright, we just set it up, and it spits a bunch of fireballs, and they each take three damage, and they're all dead. Easy fight. Fire flowers are pretty good early game. Alright, oh, we, we got a free heart here. Sometimes fights, uh, in addition to coins, will drop uh, flowers for, for your FP or hearts for your HP. It's very, very helpful. Eh, very handy. Helpful, handy, both work. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you, suspicious guy, don't move. Oh. Am I seeing in 3D now? Oh, wow. Aha, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. Sorry, but the only way through by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. You guys couldn't come up with, like, Better names? Like, I don't know. Jerry? I don't know. Let's get him, Blue Goomba! Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother! Oh, and here they come. Alright. Here we've got Red and Blue Goomba, and, uh... We're gonna go ahead and start by tattling on Blue Goomba. This is Blue Goomba! He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. So notorious. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. So there's your hint that uh, you should probably go for this guy first, because he's a little weaker. Uh, we'll save a uh, power jump. We don't need to do that quite yet. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Thanks, I hate it. All right, yeah, these, these guys aren't any stronger than a normal Goomba, aside from their HP being a little higher. All right, we're gonna take care of that. Oh, slap fight. <laughs> One day, uh, this will get more interesting. All right, I will use my power jump here. So it's just an extra powerful jump attack. That's all that it is. And we got quite a few, we got 10 star points for that. That's good. Blue, blue Goomba, <laughs> my little brother. You'll pay for that, Mario. Uh, do you... Do you, do you take cash, or do you do you take card? I, I need to know. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no prob. He has just a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Goombario, then, has a lot more HP than a normal Goomba, because, uh... He doesn't have an HP bar. 
All right, we'll use our power jump again. We don't have any more of that, so that's fine. Do this. Okay, you attacked me. There's see, we're, we're in danger now, so there's the chance that the the enemy will miss. But we we will we'll finish this fight with three HP, which is a little low, but like we'll be fine. Okay, and goodbye. There he goes. We are almost at a level up. We're doing good. Ah, I'll let you go for now. And up the spring they go. Still love that sound effect. All right. Before we do anything else, definitely heal because uh, I don't want to go fighting anything else with only three HP, nor do I want to waste a mushroom. And here we have a save block, which we will use. There we go. Okay, and now uh, let... Wow, okay. Now let's go after them. Okay, good God. Thank you, game, for making me look stupid. Oh, another mushroom. Eat a mushroom, regain your energy. Oh, well, it's it's a mushroom in a sense. Oh, come on. Oh, good, and there's two of them. Okay. Uh, get out of here. Come on. I'm leaving this in because, uh, why not? I'm gonna cut plenty of battles later. You can suffer with me. I don't, I don't know. There we go. That didn't take too long, so there we go. I keep giving a thumbs up like you can see me. I don't do face cam, and I have no interest in ever doing face cam, so I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, let's read this sign. Guma King's Fortress Ahead. Well, that's the way we need to go. That certainly is something that could resemble a fortress, theoretically. Oh, it took you guys this long to get over there? King Koopa, help us! Mario beat us up! Yeah, you didn't- you didn't put on a, a real good uh, showing for yourself there, I gotta say. Oh, here we are. Hey look, Mario! See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. It is a little strange. Bridges don't usually disappear overnight. Unless a ship crashes into them on accident. Oh. Oh, that's a big boy. Okay. So, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. You scared, little man? Not particularly. <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Again, not really. Wow, King Goomba's really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet your wrath, or my wrath, Mario, not yours. <laughs> I can't read. You'd better be. Uh, one day I'll learn how to read. Oh, we tripped on entering battle. Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario. I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Sounds good to me. So you can see that they uh, they have only two HP each left. But uh, before we do anything else, we are going to start off by tattling the Goomba King. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He's the boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Hey, everybody ape became so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. That's a, not a great thought. Thank you for putting that image in my head. Okay. <laughs> uh, before we do anything else though, we're, you can uh, hit this tree back here and it makes your life a lot easier because uh, it, it takes them out immediately. This fight's so hard. And then he comes and slaps us in the face. All right. Uh, I don't have any other items to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and power jump! I'll be using many badges, get used to that. Okay. This- this fight is... nothing special at all. Oh. He learned! How dare you! <laughs> Not gonna be enough to take us out. He's- he's down to 1 HP already. This is- this is kind of sad. No normally I'm in danger, like, before that, so this this went real poorly for him. 
And with that, we've got enough star points to finally level up. How leveling up works in this game is again different than it was in Mario RPG. Um, you still pick a stat, but it's at a much smaller increment, and it's always fixed. Uh, you can either increase your HP, FP, or your BP. I usually do it in order, but uh, to start off with, it's only a 5 FP. I'm gonna go for that. It just, just seems like the right thing. <laughs> what? How could I lose? I mean, pretty easily. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool. Victory. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> nope, no more peace sign in this game. Uh, you open the door? Red Goomba, you're positive you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the... You idiot! You didn't hide it in here? Mario will find it for sure! Oh... You think? You know... You might be right. King Goomba, maybe you want to trick Mario before he tries to... Well, I'll look in the grass in a minute here. Uh, first I'm gonna hit this tree because there's a star piece. And I can't hit any other trees here, so, uh, to the grass! Oh, what could this be? Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous. Understand? You what? You already pressed it? Yeah, you're, you're, you're a little late there, my dude. Oh no! <laughs> What, oh god, Mario's face! <laughs> oh no, it's coming down! Yeah, back up two inches. That'll make all the difference. And, uh... Yeah! King Goomba makes, like, Team Rocket and is blasting off again. Bye! <laughs> Look, the bridge! Now we can cross and continue our journey! Alright! Uh, yeah. And, uh, Red Goomba and Blue Goomba uh, disappear, never to be seen again. Um, not really sure where they went, but, uh, not our problem anymore, so let's, let's get a move on. Is there anything in here? A single coin. What about in here? Nothing. Okay. I do know that there's something over here, though. And I hit that, and it reveals a hidden block. And it gives us a super shroom. That's, uh, that's actually a really good item. Um, it, uh, retores, retores, restores 10 HP, which is, at this point, a full heal. So, um, you know, probably gonna want to hold on to that for a little bit. Um, at this point, though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. Ah, I still don't have an outro, but if you made it this far, Thank you so much for putting up with me, and I hope you'll join me next time as we finally make it to Toad Town. See you then!